Hello everyone, and welcome to another movie review video. Today I am finally reviewing the second Hitman's bodyguard, the Hitman's wife's bodyguard. I was not disappointed with this movie. It was not a disappointment. <coughs> it was great. And I hope that they do make this third movie that there's been lots of rumours about. Because I'd love to see it. This film is just very good. I watched this film last night and I watched it on Blu-ray and um, Dolby Atmos track on it was great and it is a great film I'm glad I have it in the collection. <coughs> Sorry. So The Hit My Wife's Bodyguard is basically the sequel to the first movie, The Hit Man's Bodyguard. Um, it, the film is about Michael Bryce, who's played by Ryan Reynolds, who um, in the first movie, he was the bodyguard for, um, a very famous assassin. After being his bodyguard, he, um, had a lot of, like, bad dreams about it. So he keeps having this really bad dream, and his therapist kind of tells him to stop bodyguarding. So he decides to take his therapist's advice and stop bodyguarding so he goes to Italy for a break. He meets the assassin's wife in Italy and the and his wife is um saying that her husband um is trapped, he was being taken by these people and he needs to be rescued. So they go on this road trip to rescue him and then um about 20-ish minutes into the film, they rescue him. Uh, and basically, they all go on a mission. And that's kind of where the story takes off. And it's really good. I don't really want to go into detail. Um, but it's really, really a good film. And the comedy in this movie is great. I think it is better than the first one. And it's, it's pure Ryan Reynolds, just like the first one. Um, it reminds me of Free Guy, in a way, it's it, it's not like the plot, it's not similar at all to the plot, but his acting in it was very much like, his character was very much like Guy, uh, quite like stupid, and yeah, it, I think it's, it's good, it is good. Um, and so the film stars Salma Hayek, who is great is really great. Uh, she is set to be in House of Gucci coming out in November. Can't wait to go and see that. It looks really good. Right. So yeah, she's great. Then there's obviously Ryan Reynolds, Samuel Jackson, Tom Hopper from Umbrella Academy is also in there. There's um, Richard E. Grant. Um, so it is, it's, it's, it's a great film. Great cast. I just think it's really fun. I think it was, it was just about just over an hour and a half so it was quite a um it's quite a shortish movie whereas the first film was nearly two hours so i felt like the reason i enjoyed this more than the first one was the pace that it went at and it didn't feel like a sequel it felt like a standalone story which i liked about it which means that you don't really have to watch the first one to watch this one which i think is good now the film was left on a little cliffhanger a very jokey cliffhanger i don't want to spoil what it is but it's very funny i don't really think the third movie will have relation to that cliffhanger because i think it's all just a big joke um there might be references to it but i don't yeah just watch the film to see that cliffhanger but i think it's really funny it's great i said when it over i was like is that it <laughs> he's just yeah i was like really but it, it's funny it's funny and i i wasn't disappointed with this movie i was expecting a lot from it and i just got everything I wanted with it, it was really good. Um, whereas, yeah, so I said the first movie was, it dra it dragged a little bit, whereas this one, I don't know, just over an hour and a half is great one time, I think. Everything in the movie, everything included was necessary, there wasn't any bits where I was like, what's the point of this, it's so boring. Um, there were some comedy bits that I just thought, well, too, like, too much, like, just a bit stupid, but it's, it's a movie with Ryan Reynolds in it, okay? It, it's going to be stupid. It was like that with Free Guy. There were moments that were just really stupid. Um, but again, I, 
stupid's me, so I'm stupid, so I kind of had a laugh with it. But yeah, it is good. It is a good movie. And I think that it is just it is a good watch. And I'm glad they've got it in a collection, along with the first movie, uh, which is great. So I've got them together now. So it's a really, I think it's a really good movie. And it, it didn't disappoint. I had a good time with it. And I think it had a good pace and it had a good cast. And again, the story was actually really good. Like, it was really interesting and it was just fun. And I like films where people go on missions and you see them doing all different things, going all over the place. It's, that's kind of my type of movie. I just think it was funny and the way that it was all done in this was just really good. So yeah, it was a good film and I recommend that you watch it. So that was my review for The Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard. Uh, you can rent that now for like re quite cheap uh, on where you rent your movies. You can also pick it up on Blu-ray now. So it's everywhere to watch now. Um, Yeah, so... Yeah, thanks so much for watching this video. I'm not really sure what's coming up, but Sam will, I'm sure Sam will have something uh, uploaded in a few days. So we'll just see what happens. But yeah, thanks so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.